Hey guys, this is TMY, and welcome to a tutorial where I explain what a synthesizer is and how to use one, more specifically this one right here. This right here is a university project, which I thought could be useful for any of you if you are new to production and want to know the basics of synthesis. This is why I'm using this synthesizer as it's free and to the point. So what is a synth? A synthesizer is defined as a machine or program which generates sounds. They can come in both digital format, like the ones you find indoors like Ableton and FL Studio, and also in analog format, where there is no code involved, just like the flow of an electrical signal flown through different devices to in turn generate a sound. First of all, a synthesizer comes in these main different parts, an oscillator, an envelope generator, filters, an amplifier, and a low frequency oscillator, or LFO for short. An oscillator, in the most simple term, creates a wave, which can vary between different wave types, sine wave, sawtooth wave, square wave, and triangle wave, each with different properties, and therefore different timbre and harmonics. Here are some explanations about the physics of waves. They are useful in shaping the tone of a synth. Harmonics are defined as frequencies which are mathematically related. For example, if the first harmonic is 440 Hz, the second will be 880 Hz, and the third 1320 Hz. The formula being harmonic number times the first frequency. A sine wave is one note at one volume, the most basic form of a wave. It has no harmonics. It is a very pure but cold sound. A sawtooth wave is every harmonic played at the same time, a very bright sound. Brass instruments may create sounds which resemble a sawtooth wave. A square wave is every odd numbered harmonic, the in between of sine and sawtooth waves. An amplifier turns the wave into audible sound. An envelope is a way to shape the sound. Each time the note is pressed, the envelope will start again. In simple terms, it is a process each sound will go through. The sound is shaped by changing four different factors, attack, decay, sustain, and release. Attack being how long it takes for the sound to reach maximum volume. Decay being how long it takes for the sound to reach its lowest volume while being pressed. Sustain is the volume at which it stays at while pressed after going through attack and decay. Release is how long it takes for the sound to go from its sustained volume to no volume. This will happen when you let go of the note or close the gate. A filter is an effect which can be put on a sound, which only lets through certain frequencies. This can be very useful in shaping sounds and automating movement in sounds. There are different types of filters. Low pass filter, which only lets through lower frequencies. High pass filter, which only lets through higher frequencies and band pass filter, which is both at the same time. Filter resonance is a small boost at the edge of the cutoff frequency. This will actually create its own pitch. An LFO or low frequency oscillator creates an inaudibly low frequency. This is used to modulate pretty much anything. An example could be a filter. An LFO create a 2 Hz wave, which means 2 waves per second, and this could be used to automatically modulate the rate of change between anything within the filter, such as cutoff, the frequency type, or the resonance. A synthesizer may also contain a white noise generator. White noise is defined as a signal containing every possible frequency. It has many different uses in synthesis, can be used to create a swoosh sound or add texture to a sound. A ring modulator takes two signals and multiplies them together, outputting both the sum and the difference of the frequencies. Now you know the basics of what a synth may consist of. Here is how it can be used practically using an online synth called Web Modulator. The link will be in the description. First of all, we want to create a very simple sine wave, a very simple sound using this. So first of all, we want to see this here. This will control the voltage. So what we need to do is take, take the control voltage out into the modulation of the oscillator. This will change the oscillator. We then want to output this into the amp, which will turn it into a sound. We also want this to be able to turn on and off the oscillator as we press it. So we put it into the modulation of the amp. And then we just output that into the output slash mix. And here we have a basic sine wave patch.
Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to add a filter to our synth patch. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the VCO out of the amp and the gate in the same place. We're going to actually put the output into this filter right here. And now we'll take this out into the amp and it will have this. As you can hear, there is now a filter on the sound. Some of the things we could control even more on the filter are the frequency. And the resonance. Now to thicken up the sound of it, we're going to add this other oscillator here to it. So we're going to have it at plus two. We're going to put the control voltage into this one, so it's now controlling this oscillator as well as this one. We're going to output it into the filter. And then in the filter, you want to turn this up to the same volume, and then you should be able to hear. You can hear. Some things we can control within the oscillator are the waves. First of all, we can have sine waves, sawtooth waves square waves. You can also control the octave. We can also control the pitch from the initial octave. Going back to our simple patch, I'm going to show you how to use an envelope. So first of all, you want to put the gate into the trigger of the envelope. And then put the output of the envelope into the second modulation place of the amp. You now want to turn this one down and this one up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the attack up on this so you can really hear it. And then you'll be able to hear it takes a long time for it to fade up. That is because we have the attack on high. If you put the release high, you'll notice that when I unclick it, you'll hear the sound keep going. In this patch here, you can see I've got the attack on high, the decay fairly higher, the sustain quite low, but the release right higher. So what this would do is we have quite a slow attack. You'll hear it go down to quite a little bit of a quieter decay, and then it will go down to a sustain. It will sustain at quite a low volume. And when I let go, you'll hear it have quite a high release. So let's see. I'll remove my hand when I've let go. So you've heard it go down, and now I'm pressing it. It's on that sustained volume. And then I'll release now. There you go. Now coming back onto the simple patch, we're going to add a filter and use the LFO to modulate it. So first of all, we're going to put the output of the first oscillator into the filter and output that into the amp so we have the filter on it like before. Up next we're going to output the LFO into the modulation of the filter. Here you have a sawtooth wave modulating the frequency of the filter. You'll notice if we change it to a square wave, it will sound different. And if we change it to a sine wave, you can change the frequency here. Now coming back to this basic patch, I'm going to show you how to use the white noise generator and what I can do with it. So I'm going to put it into the VCA, turn this down, and this is what you get with nothing with it. Just a normal white noise generator. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to turn it right down and mix it with the oscillator here to make this. 
as you can see it makes a sound which has a whoosh at the back of it as well as being a pitch so here we have two oscillators one with plus two octave one with minus two to make this sound a very nice sounding synth so what we're going to do we're going to put both these oscillators into this ring modulator here so we're going to take them both out of the amp and out into this ring modulator right here so the first frequency into here the second frequency into here then we're going to output the ring modulator into the amp and it's going to come out with this sound and that's the ring modulator there's a lot you can do so that concludes my synthesis tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much and I hope you all have a great day. See you.